It's Vlogmas Day 5, and today we're checking out Christmas markets in Dresden. So we're here at the Christmas market at the first one and it's definitely gotten significantly colder. We did take a bus here to come here to Dresden from Berlin to do like a quick day trip. The bus was about how long? Like just an say? hour and a half, hour 45 minutes. About like two minutes. No, it was like an hour and a half. Oh, okay. Well, so it wasn't too far of a bus ride. Um, now that we're here, we're here at the main market. We're going to walk around, check us out a little bit. And then there's also a couple other interesting ones that you found too that we'll hopefully get to see today. Yeah, well. yeah, it wasn't just the main market. What I read online and what I we're telling you is there's more than just the main Streiselmarkt, which is where we're at right mm -hmm. now. So when you come to Dresden, there's a ton of things that you can check out, not just the main one. We're going to show you this one, the Streiselmarkt, and maybe one more. It is busy though. It's Saturday. It's like the first big weekend too. So yeah, it's definitely is, much busier than the other markets that we've been to. This is to. probably the busiest one we've been to. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of people. <laughs> Let's see if we can navigate our way through it. <laughs> oh, it is significantly colder than it was like 20 seconds ago. I don't know what happened. Well, we went inside when we ate. And now we're just like cold. This is like really, really big. Hmm? It's way bigger than... Than you thought it was going to be? Than I thought it was going to be, yeah. Hmm? So a long, long time ago, my grandfather had one of these in his house. And I love to just spin this thing super fast. And I spun it too fast and it broke. So I forever have this like trauma with these things where I can't touch them. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to break them. <laughs> I like how all this, um, the stands here are decorated with like real trees and garlands and greenery. Come check this out. Check out these cute little wooden snowmen. This guy's a They're baker. They're baking bread. Yeah. They all are. And there's like this little stove over here. <laughs> they would melt though. They would, they would melt. definitely melt. <laughs> Oh, look at this one. He's like drinking like a cup of cocoa. Angie would love that. Yeah. These are so cute. Oh, there's even like a little chef there that's got like pretzels. <sighs> These are really cute. So for those who are wondering when we say, oh, Angie would love this, Angie would love this, Angie's my mom. She loves snowmen. She loves snowmen. She loves these little wooden figurines. She's got like one of those little Christmas villages back home. Yeah, she would love this stuff. Angie, comment below if you think these are cute. <laughs> yeah. Something that's unique to this market that we haven't seen anywhere else is these like crazy looking toppers. Some of them move, some of them are animatronic, some of them are just plain weird. I'm really impressed with the, the amount and the level of customization on some of these toppers. We've never seen anything like this before. I don't like that. What? That thing up there. Why? Because it, it looks like um, who's the main character in Dark Crystal Light? Like? Jen? Yeah, and that's what that looks like. It looks like Jen from Dark Crystal. Uh, um, freaks me out. Okay. <laughs> well, this tree's pretty big. I think it's definitely bigger than the one that's in Bratislava. And it's a little bit straighter. That one was like on the verge of tipping over, but it's a pretty big tree. Look, look at this thing. It's like, it's like a whole like city. That's so cool. Man, they really put the effort in here. I love it. This place is pretty cool. It's got like different drinks from all around the world. Columbus, exotic. Not my favorite city in Ohio. It's Cleveland. <laughs> of course, we found the train. You think we can ride this? Babe, I think you're too big. You think they might turn me down? I, I, gotta tell me no to I don't ride even this thing. Think you would fit in one of those dog in the kid is like ding ding. Oh, that's so cool. So it is much colder than I thought it was gonna be. And it's very busy here. So we're gonna get our hot beverages very quickly. Uh, try to warm up as quick as we can. And then there was some donut things. Yeah, I saw they kind of looked like um ponchki, like okay. little like little donut holes, but they were like smaller. Okay. So we're I gonna I hope they're filled with stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna check it out. I could go for a warm pastry. 
So let's get those. <laughs> Try to warm up as quickly as we can. Yes. We should not walk over there either. No, that over there was jam. That was insane. Nuts to butts. <laughs> Before we get food and we get drinks, we're going to ride the iconic Ferris wheel first. Because we're children. Yeah. Donkey. Well, sure. Oh, oh yes, oh, we are like rocking and rolling in this thing. No. Okay. This thing feels like a hundred years old. Should we rock? Yeah. A little back and forth action? I swear to God, Nick, please stop. Oh, it's stop. fine. Oh, a little woo. I'm Nick, stop and throw up on you. <laughs> we just got stop. in. Oh my God, oh my God, I don't like this. Okay, so. It was only five euros per person, but you know, the views of scaring my wife are priceless. She's not pleased with our decision to come up I with mean, this thing. the views are great. I just don't like how much we're rocking back and forth. This and I swear so to God. Yeah. So, you know, this is fine. When, it, when it's going around, it's when you're freaking rocking it back and forth. I'm gonna throw <laughs> up on this thing. They say not to stand on this, but I think I'm gonna stand up. I swear up. to oh, Nick, I will kill you. <laughs> Divorce, <laughs> Okay, so that ride was pretty short. I think we're getting off now. Thank God. But it was fun. It was fun scaring you. I love oh, a yeah. good Ferris wheel. It wasn't too bad for five euros. Now we're gonna get some food. Yes, now we're gonna get some, some warm drinks. Cause now I'm cold. So. I needs it. Yeah, we need it. Okay, so we got a little distracted on our well, way. Because I saw the ham and I was like, what do they have over there? So we got one of these sandwiches. It was like $7.50, but I've never seen anything like it. So it's got this ham. I don't know what the sauce is. I think there's cabbage on here. I'm getting meat. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's good. Mm, that's really good. You heard it here first, folks. When you get here okay. and you see the ham, you know you're getting a quality sandwich. You've never seen this at like a Christmas night before. It's Anna approved. It's so good. You want a bite? I would love a bite. That would be great. Thank you. That's oh, yeah. good, right? That's good. I kind of want a second one. <laughs> Let's finish this one and get back in line. No, this is really good. This is good, right? Yeah. Too much, I guess. It's so good. Okay, now that we've eaten our sandwich, let's go get some sweets. Something warm to drink. We're all through the crowd here. Yeah, this crowd's busy. I feel like maybe on the weekdays it's better, but it's also like the first weekend in December. So. Yeah. Zwei Apple Birnen Punch. Zwei Apple? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it. Honest. That's the that's story. No, nine. Nine, nine, nine. As with many of the Christmas markets we've gone to, we've had to pay a deposit for our drinks, which is totally fine. These drinks in particular were three euros fifty, and the deposit for each of the mugs was four euros, which we'll get back once we return these mugs at the end. Totally cool with me, keeping it eco-friendly, or alternatively, if you wanted to keep the mugs, it's a four dollar souvenir. Okay, so all I know, one of these is for sure apple, the other one's classic. I think one of them is raisin, and I think mint. Fried dough balls. Oh, nice. I think this is the raisin one. This is a raisin? Mm -hmm. It's warm. It's like cinnamon. Maybe that's what it said in cinnamon. Oh yeah, that's cinnamon. That's cinnamon. This one I think is the apple one. It's that got, looks hot. It's got like big apples in it. I want another one of those sandwiches. <laughs> I'm hungry. We got, a, we got another thing to go to. What if they don't have those sandwiches there? They have other good things there. Please. No. You got the sandwich. Yeah. Is it good? Is it just as good as the last one? Yeah. Uh, 
Thank you, wife, though. So now we're gonna take you to the next Christmas market. Um, I didn't do like a ton of research on this. I just saw one thing there that I really liked, so I'm pretty psyched about it. Hopefully it lives up to expectations. On me? No. Well, we walked to where Google Maps told us to for this Christmas market, and... There's nothing here. There's very clearly nothing here. Uh, I don't think this Christmas market exists. <laughs> of course. Um, and I didn't mess up this time. Like, I actually looked at the maps and, like... <laughs> there's nothing, I'm just there's nothing here. Just Like, I don't even see the pictures of that building anywhere. Not that one. I don't think so. Unless, like, it is on the other side of this building, but it's like, how do we even get there? This way? Okay, that little sign over there says Christmas Garden. So I think we're in the right kind of place. Well, that doesn't exist. That's like a banner for some Christmas garden that's like elsewhere, but. But basically, not, this like. Christmas market does not exist. No. So <laughs> follow the directions on Google to a T. I'm literally standing in an office parking lot. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Cool. So we're gonna walk back the way that we came and try to find something else. Something else. Okay, so we made it to our next sort of destination. This isn't really one in any guides or anything. We just sort of walked past it. But after our big fail from our last thing, we needed to warm up by the fire here. We needed some warm beverages. We're gonna start heading, we are making our way back to our bus to go back to Berlin. We're freezing cold. Some key takeaways from today. It's super busy on a Saturday, regardless of how cold it is. People will stay out and crowds are a thing. So prepare yourself. This place is pretty cool. There's like a bunch of sleighs around. There's this big fire pit. There's another one over there. It's really authentic. It looks yeah. really... This one's cute too. It's even got like a tree in the back of the trail. Oh, cool. I think that's pretty cool. And so people are just like hanging out and drinking their little mulled wines in the sleighs. So I think it's cute. As you can see, we're not super far from the original market that we were at, maybe like two or 300 meters away. This is a lot smaller, it's a lot more calm, a lot more stuff for like kids to do, things like that. So I don't know, I'm glad we stumbled upon this one. I had a really good time with you today. It's just been busy with lots of people, but I feel like we've seen a lot of cool stuff today at least. Yeah, even though we got lost, was not my bad this time. No, so, no. it's okay. Yeah. Thanks for following along with us on our Dresden adventure for Vlogmas Day 5. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel so that way you can follow us along on day 6 when we go to Szczecin, Poland for their Christmas markets. See you next time.